very much there's a, a broadening of the skill set required for filmmakers who engage in this media. Um, so certainly you, the, the same principles of technical skills and creative skills of working with actors and narratives and so on are all, all still there in various complexities. But what we also have is, is, is through that um, means to engage directly with the audience, we have an onus of putting, uh, developing our skills to be able to do that. So we have um, an increased demand for skills in, in managing and manipulating social media, not just as promotional materials, but often as integrated storytelling vehicles, which makes them more attractive. Also engaging particular genres and being able to leverage those genres and the discussions and the engagement that happen around those genres in different ways, um, whether it's through communities or forums. Um, uh, finding out, I mean, I think it's very important for people making web series to ask not just who their audience is, but where they are. And that simple question really helps focus. It's not just a case, oh, I know they're males between this age and they like to do this. It's where are they? They go to these sites. They visit these kind of places online. They're having these discussions. That's where they are. Um, which is why we see such a prevalence for clearly cut genre pieces in web series, because it's the fastest way to get to an audience. Sci-fi, horror, romantic comedy, um, uh, gay and lesbian narratives, na any kind of narrative structure that can appeal to a particular demographic that is desiring that content. And often content that's outside of the mainstream, that otherwise wouldn't make it to, to mainstream television.